We found him. Finally found him. Nice. Hey guys, this is Cameron with Addicted and Gone Catching Guide Service. And today, oh, we are going to be doing a kokanee catch and cook for you guys out here. And we're going to cook some of these delicious kokanee. So stay tuned. Here you go. Stop, stop, stop. It's like, I don't know where it's at. That's a fish on that one. Two, it's got it's, its own fish on it. Just let it, let it hang. Come back, come back. We had another fish on that rod. That's a big one. There he is. All right, we're gonna have a great lunch today, guys. Fish, fish, fish. Fish, 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 fish. That's a nice fish. Oh, Lordy. Here we go. They are right here, you guys. There's the whole shebang. Got them on the right side. Notice how I don't have them on the down scan or on my down sonar. They're all on the right side. That's poking you there. All right, guys, we're back to the ramp. Quick morning at the lake. We're gonna head in for some lunch and I'm gonna cook you guys these kokanee with the air fryer. I'm gonna show you how to skillet with one of my favorite recipes, a lemon pepper panko crusted fish. So first thing though, is we're gonna talk about how we're gonna process these kokanee and what I like to do to get them from the fishing grounds to my home. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take out the head and then I'm gonna take out the guts and then scrape the bloodline. But one thing that I really recommend you guys doing is not filleting your kokanee at the ramp. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is the fillets are really delicate. So I can do a real nice job of filleting the fish here. But the second that I start putting those fillets in plastic bags and I start moving them around or manipulating them around, the meat is so soft and delicate that I want to keep that fish in that nice little packaged container like it is with its backbone and its skin on. So all I'm gonna do is take off the head and gut and then keep that fish whole. Now the other reason why that I don't wanna fillet the fish here is because I, they have a lot of little scales on it. And once I fillet those fish open, then all those little tiny scales that love to get everywhere, well they get into the meat and they get on the meat and then it's a little more cumbersome to try to clean off. So we're gonna do a real quick head, gut, and we're gonna scrape the bloodline out of these fish. And then we're gonna head back to the kitchen and cook these bad boys up. Head. Gut. Do a little bloodline scrape, the old Gerber here. Set that aside for a rinse in just a second. So as you can see, I'm heading and I'm gutting these fish. One couple things too is I don't wanna, if it was really warm outside, this is early season fishing, so it's quite comfortably cool right now. But one thing about kokanee is you really don't wanna let them warm up in the sun when you're cleaning them, man. It doesn't take but just a little bit of time for the meat to turn to mush. So make sure you're icing those kokanee down as you're catching them and then make sure you don't, you're don't you not leaving them out on the deck or on the cutting board a long time in the sun. Like I said, they're just gonna go to mush. But what I'm gonna show you another little trick here where once I get done in heading and gutting these fish, I'm gonna throw them all in the net to give them my last final rinse before I bag them up and take them home. A real quick way to rinse a lot of kokanee, fortunately. We just came up for a couple hours today to film some tutorials for you guys and to get some lunch. But if you have a lot of kokanee, it's a real quick way to do it all. Get them nice and rinsed before you bring them home. All right guys, welcome to my kitchen. Quick morning on the lake. Now it's time to cook you guys some lunch. So I kept those kokanee nice and cold. I kept them intact. I didn't fillet them on the river. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them a very quick light rinse. I'm gonna pat them dry. I'm gonna show you a quick fillet job on how I like to do that to prepare these kokanee for the air fryer and for the skillet. Kokanee right here. Give them one last little 
Take rinse. A little pat dry, just to make filleting a little easier. I'm gonna set them on the board. I'm gonna take my knife and go on one side of the backbone. I'm gonna run it down the backbone, nice and easy. Super simple, all the way to the tail. Flip him open like this. And then I'm gonna flip the kokanee over, push down to that backbone again, run it along the fish. I get down to the tail, come out like that. Just remove some fin trim stuff. It's ready to go. Same thing with this one. Pat dry, scales off though. Those, remember those scales I was talking about, how they tend to get everywhere? There you go. Now I'm gonna do just a few more real quick and we'll get to cooking. All right, so we flayed a few out here for you and now we're gonna go over here and get the air fry and the skillet going. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare the batter and the panko for putting on this fish. I've got myself an egg wash right here. I've got myself a flour dredge and I'm gonna add some panko to this one with some seasonings in it just so I can put the seasonings onto the fish. Good healthy amount of panko. Today we're gonna do just a little lemon pepper action. Oops, made a little mess. Add some to the flour too. Stir it up. What I like to do is I'll take the filet, which there's no scales on it, and I'll go straight down into the flour, get a good coating on there. Go to the egg. Go back to the flour. Back to the egg. I got a nice little coating on there, and then I'll take this panko and just crust the top. That's really good that if you're gonna be moving this fish around a lot, that you let the panko just kind of sit on there for just a little bit because it'll adhere to the meat a little better. But since this is just going straight into the air fryer, it's not gonna need much else to stick on there, and I'm not gonna move the fish around a lot. So I got a nice little crusted kokanee filet there. We're just gonna add that right there. I'm gonna do that again real quick for you guys. All right, got a beautiful lemon pepper crusted panko kokanee there. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add it to the air fryer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tone down the air fryer. So on this little Pampered Chef one here, I can do a custom heat. Most of them run 400 to 425. I'm actually just gonna run it at 350 for 10 minutes and hit start. So while those are cooking in the air fryer, I'm gonna quickly show you how to do one in a skillet or how to do one just in the pan on the range. All right guys, I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil to my skillet here. Make sure it's good and hot. Then I'm gonna add my kokanee, skin side down, right on the oil. And we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes. All right guys, so what I've done here is I've cooked, so I got a nice kind of golden brown consistency, and I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna let it cook skin side down until the fish is done. All right guys, normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm just gonna show you, when you what you're looking for when you're done. You're looking for nice, consistent coloring all the way through the fish. It's just a little bit pale or a little bit darker there in the middle. But honestly, that filet is done where it needs to be done. I'll let it sit about another 30 seconds, and then we're gonna plate this up and give it a taste test. All right, 10 minutes in the air fryer at 350, guys. We're gonna pull out a couple kokanee filets. Oh, look at that. Perfection, perfection. 
All right, guys, we got the air fried kokanee here and the skillet kokanee here. I'm gonna do a quick little taste test on you. Both are cooked to absolute light, flaky perfection. And one thing I'm gonna take a moment to say here too is you notice how I didn't descale my fish. Now, I know some guys out there like to eat the kokanee skin and the trout skin, but I'm not one of those guys. So if you are, make sure you descale your fish before you go do that, or else you're gonna have a mouthful of scales. Super light, super fresh. Got a nice lemon pepper in there. Now let's go for the skilleted fish. Nice little bite there, perfect crust. I like my fish a little more heavily battered. So if you notice how I went like twice to the egg wash, if you're not one of those guys and want like a real light batter, you can just use the flour or just use the panko as itself, just to give yourself a nice crust on your fish too. Hmm. What can I say? Came out perfect, real quick, super easy. One big thing that I do notice though, is that you're all gonna make fun of me because you see all this Pampered Chef stuff in here in my kitchen. My wife's a Pampered Chef director, so she sells it. It's great stuff, it works fantastic. However, when it comes to the two fish, I do prefer the air fryer. And not just because you get rid of the oil and get rid of some of the extra grease and the cleanup is super easy, but also for all you that you know that when you cook fish in your house, it tends to stink up the house, make the hair, you know, you smell that oil, you smell that fishy grease. Um, if you do it in the air fryer, there is no added scent to your house. There is no added smells of the cooking that grease and stuff. So there's one advantage to the air fryer that I do like. It does create a nice crispy crust. But honestly, when you go out to the lake just a couple hours ago, catch a batch of kokanee, bring it back, super fresh. Uh, you can't go wrong. It's really hard to screw it up. All right, I'm gonna continue eating my lunch, but for those of you guys who still wanna check out more videos on addicted fishing, check out this video right here. Also, if you're new to the channel and wanna see more catching cooks and more fishing adventures, be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification down here in the corner. And don't forget, you can always leave your comment to see the winner for the comment of the day right here. We'll see you guys on the water.